Well, welcome. <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm so excited about what we have in store for jQuery 1.8 and Sizzle. Um, uh, first up, let's talk about performance. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, many things stayed the same, but <clears throat> we did get a performance increase in uh, filtering and matching, which means, oh, excuse me, sorry, try to speak into the mic here. Uh, what I've got here is a comparison of 1.7.2 versus 1.8. 1.8 is the green. Uh, first one there is event trigger. When you uh, do event delegation, it needs to uh, filter all of the elements, all of the descendants, and uh, find matches, and then run a callback on those elements. This isn't a comparison of uh, these four different types of matches. It's just uh, 1.72 versus 1.8. Uh, event triggering, simple matches, compl complex matches. There's a small performance increase, about 5% across the board. Our biggest performance increase is in uh, element rooted ID matches, which is uh, jQuery something dot find ID. Uh, performance of that selection improved by about 300 percent. So I'll do a quick summary of performance here. Uh, matching and filtering, as I said, improved consistently about 5 to 10 percent. Uh, if you remember quick is in event.js, uh, which was talked about at the last conference by Dave um, in his rewrite, it was actually moved to sizzle so that we can get the same advantages in filtering um, for all selections, not just in an event delegation. Uh, simple selectors, we improved those shortcuts and added them to everything. Not, um, they were previously just in browsers with query selector all, now they're in IE6, 7, 8. You'll get a little bit better performance in the simple selectors. Uh, as I said, element rooted ID selections and shorter code paths to query selector all and match selector. We have uh, an excellent code path here. Uh, all of the performance tests that I did um, showed that we have very competitive uh, small code path to get to these native methods. So that's performance. Let's talk about bugs. What bugs? <laughs> yeah, we don't actually have any bugs. Um, thank you. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Two lowercase not were good was actually a bug ticket that we received sometime last year. <laughs> Yeah, we never fixed that. <laughs> okay, there were bugs. Uh, we improved QSA match selector bug detection, which means um, we detect when it's going to fail before we actually run it. All browsers, even Chrome, Safari, Firefox, have bugs in query selector all. So we figure out if it's going to fail and if it's going to fail skip query selector all and, and uh, make sure it's right. So it bypasses it. Here are some examples. Um, class equal empty string, checked won't return selected options in uh, several browsers. And of course, uh, the infamous atroperties in IE8. Um, yeah, I have a long-standing relationship with the attributes. <laughs> we fixed a bug in, with combinators, uh, which means <laughs> tilde, plus sign, descendants, space. Um, when using multiple of those, uh, they were, weren't always getting every result. So 
we fixed that. Um, element rooted query selector all with divisions. What I mean by divisions is comma. Um, it wasn't respecting your context when you added a comma. Unicode validation, we'll get into that too much, and several little edge cases. So, what's coming up next? You aren't prepared, by the way. Um, everything that I've told you so far might actually change. Um, I did rewrite Sizzle. <laughs> yes, we're adding all the bugs back. That's the idea. Um, I might rewrite it again. Actually, I'm in the process of rewriting it again. But if it's not better, I won't commit it. I'll, I'll say that. <laughs> um, I won't get into that too much. Um, after 1.8, though, we're going to add some more CSS3 support. There are a few selectors that we don't support, uh, particularly of type, nth of type, um, last of type, and target root. Um, so some pretty uncommon ones, but still ones we are considering supporting. Um, even more selector validation. And of course, there are, there are still bugs to be fixed. Um, despite what Dave says. Um, so, we need your help with that. Sizzle is on GitHub under the jQuery organization, and issues are also on GitHub. Um, I'll be migrating all of the bugs from the jQuery bug site to, over to Sizzle. Um, there aren't many, but that aren't already in issues. Um, so pick an issue and dig in. Um, discussion for Sizzle is still in jQuery dev. There's no special IRC channel. And there's a stale Sizzle Google group that I'd like to see pick up some more activity. Same style guide, um, same development workflow. Sizzle does use grunt. So, and it will run lint for you as you develop. And if you have any questions, you can always ask me. I'm in IRC. I'm on Twitter and GitHub, as Timmy will. And that's it. Next up, we got 